Hi, I'm Brenda Bailey and I'm the Master Gardener here at Meander River Farm and Brewery. I thought, why don't I take you on a virtual tour of Meander River Farm. Hey Beavs, good girl. As you can see, the lavender is in full bloom here, and it's wonderful. It's the middle of July, and I wish you could hear it, but it sounds like the bees are so active. It sounds like you're right beside the freeway. They're so noisy. But um, so soon we will start to harvest the lavender for a little bit of essential oil. The var main variety that we grow here is Munstead and uh, it's not a high oil producer but it's very sweet and it can be uh, used for culinary purposes as well. So we're going to harvest and we're going to use that in hydrosol and body and bath products and um, a we get a little bit of essential oil but um, we're going to start doing that next week. and. Uh, Wish you were here to smell it. Here at Meander River Farm, we also have cut flower gardens. So today we're looking at some poppies that are just finishing and delphiniums that are finishing, but we've got a whole host of other plants that are just coming up this year. Um, some cosmos and zinnias, and we'll make those into beautiful, beautiful bouquets for, for people to take home. Mm. We also have lovely vegetable and herb gardens here and we've got some blueberries. I know it's the middle of July but they're just starting to ripen and I know that my cameraman is loving blueberries so I think a nice little treat for him would be great. Thank you. Here we, at the farm we grow hops as well. We grow enough hops to produce one of our signature beers called Homegrown. Um, it's a wet hopped ale and we use all of the hops that we have on the farm. The hops now, they're a perennial plant and they will grow to the course of uh, 18 feet in the season and they're just hitting the top of the trellis now as you can see and they're starting to produce their little cones which are the flowers. Now those cones are what the brewers want to put in beer. There's a little secret sauce inside called lupulin and that adds to the aroma and the bittering of your beer. Anyhow, so we pick our hops. We have a lovely party at the, when the hops are ready at the end of August, beginning of September. And uh, you can come and work for free, but we will feed you and give you drink and you'll meet people from all over the province and it's lovely. Now look at this, this is beautiful. Look at these daylilies, they're just blooming now. How nice is that? Beautiful white, oh, love it. Not only do we grow lavender and hops and have cut flowers, we also have landscape gardens as well. We have 22 different varieties of lilacs that bloom in the spring and then we have these gardens filled with peonies and uh, hardy geraniums, shrubs, uh, all flowering and it's just beautiful. And look at this pergola covered with hops 
And wouldn't this be a lovely place to say your I do's? Or renew your vows, why not? some Queen of the Prairie. How beautiful is this? Let's just cut that. That'll look spectacular in a bouquet. We're just starting to build that. Look at those colors. Hmm. Now let's get a few more. So here we are. Let's have a beautiful Shasta Daisy. Nothing like some white to brighten up a lovely bouquet. Oh, and I've got these beautiful, amazing poppies here that have self-seeded. Not only if you have something that's blooming, sometimes a seed pod is gorgeous in a bouquet as well. So we've got this lovely poppy head that belongs to these fabulous poppies. Love them. Now we talked about hops before and they weren't quite ready on the other hop yard. So, but here under the pergola, you can see that they're just starting to produce their cones, those furry little bits in there. Those will turn into a sort of a pale yellow green cone that kind of looks like a spruce cone. And that's what we were talking about. That's what, that's what the brewers want. They're gorgeous. Now be careful, these binds are raspy and uh, they'll catch you and they'll scratch you. So. Be careful with that, it might itch a little bit, but they're a beautiful plant. Look how well they cover this pergola. One of the points of interest about the farm that I'd like to share with you is this grist mill. This grist mill uh, wheel actually came from the river uh, in the early 1800s. On our side of the river was a grist mill and on the other side was a sawmill. So down there where the river is nice and deep, that's where we have our swimming hole. Now, this doesn't make enough for a bouquet, so I'm gonna go and cut some more flowers and I will show you the finished product when it's done. Ooh. Now these daylilies, they're gorgeous. They'll fill out that bouquet so nicely. This is called Admiral, and so we'll continue on our way. And here's the finished product. How beautiful is that? Thanks so much for coming on this virtual tour with me and we hope to see you here in person sometime.